Don't sit down. Oh. 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 Lovely. Ricky, how are you? Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. It's good to have you here. And you look very, very British today. You've got the flag on your chest there and the poppy and everything, and it's all... That's what does it, isn't it? The British flag. I think it's giveaway, really. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's talk about The Office. Let's start by talking about The Office. Okay, hugely successful series. First series won two BAFTAs, I believe, a Comedy Awards, any other number of awards. Um, the DVD of the first series out, it's apparently the biggest selling DVD that the BBC have ever bought out. Sold... No, fastest. The fastest? Yeah, not biggest. 81,000 copies it sold in a week. About a quid each. Wow. For me. <laughs> That That's probably less than you're getting for this show, isn't it? Well, and marginally. it took me three years to make. Come on, it can't. But I you. appreciate my money more than you. <laughs> you telling me that? You just go out and buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> I planned this for about two weeks, and then when I finally got the cash, I still, I still get paid. It's in cash. gonna be marvelous, and as soon as you slim into it, that jumper's gonna look. <laughs> it's gonna look great. Right, I was being nice. I was being nice. That's a it nice. It started thing. off. I said you're gonna be nice to me, aren't you? And yeah, yeah. So um, there was a lovely note in my dressing room. Um, <laughs> Ricky, did I ever tell you you're my hero? <laughs> you are the <laughs> wind beneath my wings. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> is that or is that not my pet name for you? Yeah. <laughs> Him in the dressing room is honestly, he, he goes, Come in, he's got a lovely big dressing room, all his toys. He's got what is it, cube, you've got up chocolates. It's like a scene from Big, it really is. <laughs> and then he just got, just got, I've got to get changed, and he's there in his little briefs, pumping out, <laughs> showing his muscles. <laughs> and, to, and then he didn't have a shower, he had a quick rub down with a towel, including his bits, then chased me with it. <laughs> we are friends, that's it's... what friends do. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Office, the huge success of The Office, uh, I, you know, so well earned. I mean, it's, I think it's one of the best comedy shows I've ever seen, I think. Thank you. And it's taken you a long while to get there, isn't it? I mean, because you're, you're 41 now? <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. I'm curious, because, like, for some, you know, normally when people have that kind of talent, they bring it out, they're doing that kind of thing, maybe not as successfully, but they're doing it earlier in their life, and then they hone it, and they perfect it, and then they come... Look at... I know you get compared at the moment to John Cleese a lot, because Forty Towers was a highly memorable series, it went for two series, it was yeah. very popular, and he was working in comedy very publicly for like 15, maybe 20 years before that. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of people, sort of, um, their first things they do aren't very good. Um, what I'm going to do is do this, and then for 15 years I'm going to be shit. <laughs> Because now I've got voiceover work, I don't really care about the art. You can coast. Yeah. I thought, do all your best stuff first. Get the uh, voiceover work for 15 years. <laughs> don't take 15 years doing, you know, Just bad jobs above, like, pubs and, you know, chat shows and stuff. Do the... Do, the, <laughs> do your good work first. All right, um... We, we were looking to show a clip or two of The Office. We couldn't decide on our favourite moments. There were just so many. So we put a few together in one package. So I know it's kind of messing up the show a little bit, but... Did I'm I sure give my permission? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's some of my favourite bits from The Office. So now, on uh, The Office, tremendous actors around you. I mean, some terrific performances. Yeah. In particular, I think I Lucy... got out of them eventually. Well, <laughs> Lucy Davis is great. Yeah, Martin Freeman. Martin Freeman, who plays Tim, I think is exceptional. Yeah. He has described you as being half man, half cow. <laughs> you are quite her suit. You're quite a hairy fella. No, I'm not. You are, you've always got a bit of beard oh, on. Oh, right, yeah. That's yeah. a beardy old face. I thought you meant, like, you know, the back hair. Oh. Right? <laughs> Like Michael with, Bolton used with, to be. With medallions, with matted sort of sun cream in there. Are you hairy of chest? Not, not very, no. So he's just saying what? He's saying you're kind of bovine? I, I think he's saying I'm a, a fat slob. Right. <laughs> but you're not really. If yet. I understand him correctly. You, I suppose you've let yourself go over the years. Because mm. you were a very fit youngster, weren't you? I assume, yeah, but, and, but I haven't gone for the girdle, have I? <laughs> This is no good, this is liposuction. <laughs> Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. <laughs> That's a Queen Anne couch, you're sitting on. <laughs> um, I know Martin was talking about you in that way and sort of saying you were a slob, but you do some exceptional dancing in the office. <laughs> And this was also in the Comic Relief episode, where the new boss had shown off a, a rehearsed routine that was very lovely and so 
perfect for the day. And of course, David Brent w was having none of it, was he? He yeah. couldn't bear to be out Second of the line. Best. Right? Yeah. And this was one of the most excruciating things I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, for all the right reasons, I know that was intended, but still, it hurt me to watch. <laughs> Even on the 18th or 19th time <laughs> I played it back. So here, just in case you missed it, this is David Bent trying to reclaim a little bit of the attention that he feels has slipped away from him. Well, the thing is about that was, um, that was ad-libbed. I didn't practice anything. It just said in the script, you know. <laughs> and, um, but what I hadn't realised is that I could do it for about a minute and either laugh or vomit. <laughs> So I just had three goes at it and then cut it together. That's the cutaways people looking is like another take of me just doing these ridiculous things. You know, in about 20 years' time, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll give you a call. They'll find you in a home somewhere. They'll say, they'll be doing one of those look back on TVs and they'll say, look, what was that bloke? You know, that bloke, uh, Ricky Dervis, who used to go on the TV. This came to do that dance and you'll be, you'll be called out to do it on a, a talk show of some young blade. 20 years time. <laughs> yeah. That's my fantasy. <laughs> lovely. Um, okay, here's the thing. This is exciting. This is very exciting. You have agreed to jo join in this big BBC charity thing, this BBC celebrity boxing. Yeah. And when, it, when do you have to fight? You actually have to box someone. Who are you boxing? Um, Grant Bovey. Wow. And for a Turner's <laughs> husband, Grant Bovey. Yeah. Okay, well, there's a challenge right there. I think, I think he's probably a bit fitter than me. Well, he's kind of a fit looking little bloke, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And he's... I suspect, married or he's got a lot of anger. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you, presumably, you're in training for this, are you? I am. I had my first training session yesterday with um, Frank Maloney, Lennox Lewis's. And mentor. that's a tough. I mean, training boxing is hard work. It's obviously. amazing. It's, I, I, honestly, I was like a kid in a sweet shop. I, I've been a fight fan sort of you know, all my life, from the age of 10. Muhammad Ali was my hero. And um, never wanted to do it, of course. I didn't think I'd be any good at it and wouldn't have been any good at it. And, uh, I didn't want to do it till now. I wanted to make sure I definitely lost my looks. Yeah. Um, so, um, I'd like to be in your corner for the fight. Can I be your white hair man? Can I be your corner? Because you you know, I'd like to be well, that. What, what good are you? Do this then. I'll test you. Do this. Say, um, he'll hoit your appointment. He'll hoit your appointment. What was that? That's an American. Asian Irish. I, I'd love a bit of glass on your gloves for you. Okay, in the and a resin. bit of soy sauce to sting. Yeah. Cut me. Cut me. <laughs> What was that? That's from Rocky when he goes, he's, you know, when you're going, this is ridiculous. <laughs> what you We've did got then? To stop this fight now, Wiki. That was more like <laughs> you were like you were like Jimmy Young then. You were like Sylvester <laughs> <Sylvester's> Stallone. <laughs> Wiki Gervais, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.